In case you missed it, this girl, yep, this miscreant, got caught. Stealing food, breaking in doors. I mean, literally, she can open doors. You so sneaky. Stealing things that she should not. Now it's time for her to serve community service and go back to puppy school. We've got the kennel set up, got the house line on. Now it's time to teach impulse control. Stick with me. We got this. We're going to be doing two exercises today. The first one is I'm going to be opening and closing my hand with a piece of food in my hand. If she shows respect and doesn't try to take the food, I will give her a release command. My release command is okay. Other people use break or other things. It's completely up to you. So, and then we're going to move on to doing something similar, but with the bowl on the floor and the food on the floor. So let's get started. want her to look at me. Yes. Okay. Good job. That may have been too big for what we're doing. Break it up a little bit smaller. I have done this with her before. Yes. Okay. Yes, good girl. Okay. I need to groom her face. She does not like scissors near her face right now. Um, she had a piece of fur that got in, stuck in her eye and it was very painful. And basically ever since then, she's decided that no scissors near her face, which she doesn't understand the scissors near her face would have prevented the pain, but what can you do? We did get the hair out of her eye, but it's making it, we're having to go back to another basic of conditioning of teaching her that the scissors are okay and they're not gonna hurt her. Yes, okay. So I tell her yes to let her know, this is what I want, and yes is the reward for her doing it. And then I release her and tell her, okay, so that she understands that when she does what I want, I might just give her the food. Yes, good girl. Oh, okay, okay. Good girl. All right, so she's doing pretty good with this. Yes, good girl. I'm gonna lower the sides. Oh, see? You didn't know that that was there, did you? Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Okay. Good. So this is just to start working on her to not know that just because there's food out does not mean that she gets to take it. She has to show manners. Ah. And I used that noise to make a correction because she was going fast. She just has to problem solve. What do I want? How do I get this food? Cause she wants the food and she's going to have to learn that manners is how she's going to. Yes. Good girl. Okay. So we're going to try something else. I'm going to increase the value by increasing the food and I'm going to not, I'm going to take my hand off see this? All right, sit. Yes, good girl. I'm actually gonna take my hand off. She's looking in front. 
Do you even know it's there? Ah! You gotta wait. Yes, good girl. Okay. Good girl. And we're just gonna be doing this a few times a day. This only takes a few minutes, a few repetitions. I have been doing some, uh, I've been doing the hand thing with her, but not necessarily the bowl. This is the first time we've done the bowl exercise. She's just processing, what do I need to do to get the food? Because we know that Joy loves the food. Yes, good girl. Okay. Actually, I probably should have had her release when she was looking at me. That was poor timing on my behalf, but last time. <laughs> You're just going to follow the food. And I'm not going to get mad at her for making mistakes. She's learning. If she gets the food, she's not going to get in trouble. She's not going to get scolded. We're just going to make an oops and just move on. I'm going to wait for her to look at me this time. Because I want her to know the food comes from me. All good things come through me. I'm the best thing in her world. Yes, good girl. Okay. All right. That's it. Peace.